All right, everyone. Here we have semi-final match number two, Casey versus Meta. These two uh, are two competitors who soundly defeated me in their matches against me. Uh, they're inc they have incredibly stacked teams, and they've got some very good tech up their sleeves. And this is going to be a great match, I'm sure. No Aron from Casey. I, I still think Casey has not brought the Aron. But here we have the return of Sableye. Casey's uh, prankster Scourgemon. We have the return of Magneton from Medi for some fucking reason. Probably do with Kirim. And possibly to Magnet Pulse's trap Heatran. We have that horrendous Clefairy, Snatch Clefairy that has ruined lies so many times before. And then we have a bunch of the usual suspects, including Gastrodon, his very annoying lead me on Shao, and the god tier defensive wall that is Stoutland and Cresselia backing up his core. He's kind of lacking in a lot of offensive pressure here. He, like, again, doesn't have Latios, he doesn't have like a lot of his normal mons. So it's gonna be very interesting, I think. Yeah, Meta doesn't have Darmanitan, it doesn't have Breloom, even though Breloom destroys Casey's whole team. I'm very confused why he didn't bring Breloom. And he hasn't brought Latios in like a million years. I think he's just completely given up on Latios, which is shocking considering how strong it can be. But... I feel like Casey possibly brought the Sableye for potential, uh... for potential Sucker Punch shenanigans, like Dark Gem Sucker Punch, because it does in fact one-shot Wadios to the right spread, but it is uh, not here. And the battle is starting. This lead is disgusting, but I'm pretty sure Mian Chao handily gets past this in the first place, um, because it's like a very, very, very fast Pokemon. Because Fake Out has the same priority as uh follow me in this gen i'm pretty sure mancha is like blazing fast if i remember correctly one of five yeah it'll, it'll handily get past it and you can uh set up you can fake out togekiss and then just fucking obliterate it though stoutland might have something like bulldozer earthquake so this is actually a really great lead to counter this because otherwise follow me eruption is basically impossible to stop i mean without like a a faster earthquake i guess but there's not a lot of mods that like using Earthquake in this format at all, uh, or any Grand Moves for that matter. There's only like two Grand Special Attackers that even matter, and it's like Nido King and uh, Landorus I, and then like, yeah. Though Stoutland is being a normal type, I'm pretty sure it gets Earthquake. Oh, the Jellicent swap. Detect, eh? A whole lot of nothing happened on that. I'm shocked he didn't go for the fake out on Heatran, because it could have just ended his life if he went for... I mean, I guess Eruption wouldn't have done much damage against, uh... Well, I don't know. Maybe it could have done a huge amount of damage against Clefairy. It probably would have done a lot, but... The Mian Show is probably carrying some other priority move. Actually, no, it doesn't. I, I, oh, yeah, never mind. It doesn't get Mach Punch. So I don't know what this... It's probably just normally in Shasta. He's probably going to U-turn out here or something. Though Heatran, looking at, like... Heatran kills most of his team besides, like... Uh, Gastrion? There's a switch. Ooh, nice. Nice prediction by KSD. That is a really, 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 really bad will wisp miss. And that's, it sucks for multiple reasons. One, because Mian Shao sucks. It's just really, like, really annoying. When I say sucks, I don't mean really suck. I mean, like, it's so annoying to deal with.
Um, and that would have neutralized its Focus Sash and made it so it can't switch around as much as it would like to. And that's a big deal. All right, we're getting a swap to Stoutlin and Magneton. Tauna Magneton's probably- Oh, burn the Stoutlin? But he has Lumberry instead of fucking Choppleberry. Like, he's had the majority of the fucking season. That's crazy. If that burn stuck, that was like- that would have been enormous, because that stout one is, is so, so hard to counter. That thing is a fucking menace. And the reason I lost my match against Beta. Well, that and Cresselia, but yeah. That thing hates getting burned. Not entirely sure, like... Actually, I'm not sure if Intimidate popped. I don't think Intimidate popped, actually. No, it didn't. So, I don't know what the fuck he's running. Scrap- Oh, he's getting running Scrappy. He's running Scrappy on it. I didn't even know I got Scrappy. It's crazy. I'm also pretty sure Magneton is, like, way slower, right? Like... Way slower than Heatran, even if it's min speed, right? Actually, no, it's not that much slower. It's 70. So if, like, Magneton's not min speed, then yeah. <clears throat> and I don't think Casey is realizing, like, the Magnet. Whoa, what? I hope he eruptioned here. I hope he eruptioned. This is an eruption Heatran. That's crazy. Or maybe he just has both. It could be both. Cresselia could have a potential hidden power ground here, which is why he swapped into it. Oh my god, he misses this game. have been, like, really bad. That's... That's amazing. That... What a fucking fling, ladies and gentlemen. Now the Cresselia is fucking toxic and on a timer. That is going to... That's literally the way that Casey deals with this fucking Cresselia. That's amazing. That is so cool. That's a, that's a really nice tech to bring out. Ooh. It does have hidden power ground. I was right. But now, Cresselia is in a bit of a pickle. Because Sableye has what I think it does, which it probably has Sucker Punch. Dark, Dark Gem Sucker Punch. You could murder Cresselia here. Unless he switches it out, or unless he, like, uh, protects her. No, he wouldn't protect. He would Moonlight or something. Nice fake out. A guaranteeing the sub. Let's go. That's a fucking awesome play. And now Cresselia's on its last legs. If KSD can kill Cresselia, this game completely flops. It completely flops in case you save her. No, he- wait, well, misses this turn. Gaster's on the field, taunt- I probably won't do it- well, actually, now I can't recover, so that might be big. But now he's- they've got the two tight- two defensive titans on the field. Paul Ruiz. <laughs> That's like, oh my gosh! I, it's it's crazy that Cresselia is already dead. Cresselia is the first thing dead on Meta's team. That's insane. He during it's a free turn to blast shit for mine to sub. But he probably has a ground move on, on Stoutland. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna I'll look at it right now. I have the page open. It, there's no way it doesn't get a ground. It gets like earthquake, right? It gets dig. No way. It has to get earthquake, surely, right? This thing does not get earthquake. That is actually crazy. It gets mud slap. 
Sand attack. Oh no. It gets superpower though, so that's probably what it's gonna try to hit with. Yeah, no, no earthquake. Or bulldoze either. Nope. So superpower is probably what's trying to hit Heatran with. Yeah, of course it has Rindo Berry. Sash Sableye, I was not expecting that. So the real question is, what is Sableye going to try to do here? Because now, uh, Gastrodon's Rindo Berry is gone, so now another hidden power will should do the trick anyway. That's how much did that do? 38? Yeah. It'll kill it, because you can't recover. If Casey has will wisp on Sableye, he could just, like, will wisp Stoutland, and then just, like... Maybe survive a superpower with Heatran? Though, I don't know. Actually, you probably would, because it's also minus one attack. I would be trying to kill this stupid Gastrodon, to be honest, because it's going to be so annoying to break through with any of your other mons, because I don't know what other grass moves Casey even has on this team. But the real question is, did he go... No, he didn't go for Heat Wave. I'm surprised Stalin didn't go for the kill there on Heatran with Superpower, but maybe he, he knew he couldn't kill it from that range. But I would be shocked if that was the case. Oh, that's why I didn't burn. Yeah, Facade would be nuclear. But now you can fake out and Heat Wave and then probably kill Magneton and do a shit ton of Stalin. I do know Stoutland is faster than... Yeah, Stoutland's 80 speed. I, that's a bit faster than I expected it to be, to be honest, but... Interesting. Magneton might be not... If, if this is... If this is min speed Heatran, we don't know if it is. If it is, then uh, Magneton might actually outspeed, depending on what the fuck he... Whatever he trained it to be, if he did train it with speed. That thing surely has hidden power ground, right? Right? It has to have hidden power ground, surely. He's probably gonna follow me, hidden power ground. Ooh, nice shot. Rain Dance, eh? Very interesting. I thought he was gonna go for like an HP ground. The whole point of Magneton is to Magnet Pull Trap. Ooh! Ooh, this is a bit spicy. Something's getting faked out. Ah, I saw that coming a mile away. It made sense. It's, it was such an easy protect there. This is still anyone's game. That Mian Shao has, still has a focus sash and is sitting there completely untouched. That Will O Wisp miss earlier in the game was fucking awful for KC. But now Jellicent's out in the rain and can just start blasting off nuclear scalds. Because Mian Shao shouldn't have anything to hit Jellicent with. Maybe he might have knockoff like he did against me, but I mean, it's still not going to do any damage. It'll like get rid of the Jellicent's item though, whatever the heck it is. Though they probably need to take out Magneton because otherwise they'll probably just sit there discharging, but I don't know, it depends on what they're gonna go for here. Choppleberry, but it still kills, holy crap. If they get the burn here, oh, the burn is huge! The real question is, what are they gonna go for this turn? Like, who are they gonna bring in? Because they still have to, they have got Mansha that's basically crippled now. The Gastrodon has just a tiny bit of health left. No Rindo Berry. Stalin is perfectly healthy and Magneton's almost dead. So it's literally just going to be for KC to position themselves in a place where they can... They just need to kill Stalin somehow. And the problem is, I'm pretty... Stalin can have Iron Head, it can have... Uh, well, it has superpower, we know that, so it's probably going to have superpower. So, the problem is, yeah, I imagine that, yeah, I, I guess they were going to send out Togekiss here. But now Mianxiao cannot follow me, or not follow me, cannot fake out, so... 
The question is, what is Casey gonna do? You could follow me to take whatever the fuck Stalin's gonna throw out to try to kill. Actually, I don't know what the fuck Stalin's gonna try to do here. He could have Thunderfang or some. I think he gets Stone Edge? He gets Rock Tomb. Uh, he does not get Stone Edge, excuse me. Rock Slide. Shardy Berry! Insane! Oh my god, the will with misses have been so horrible the whole game. And that para on Togekiss really sucks. I think I would have gone for the Scald, honestly, to get damage on Stalin because that thing needs to die. It has too much health. The thing is... Metal loves to run this Stoutland max HP, max attack, so like killing it takes forever. Because Stoutland has really good bulk. Like, Stoutland's like 85 HP, 90 defense, 90 special defense, so when you run max HP on it, it just. It becomes so annoyingly hard to kill without a fighting move. And that's if it doesn't have Chopper Berry, which it doesn't here, but. I don't think Casey has any fighting moves left. I don't think Kiram gets any fighting moves. Unless Dominicus just casually has Aura Sphere, which is very possible. The problem with burning Stoutland is that Facade is now powered up. So I'm not- that's why I don't know why they're not just scalding in the rain here to try to kill Stoutland because then if you get the burn, you get the burn. But maybe it's because now it weakens superpower, so it doesn't matter. So even though you can get facaded, superpower can't one-shot Kiram anymore, but I don't know. I don't know. It's also interesting because- or maybe they weren't scalding because of a possible storm drain switch in, so that might also be the case. But I don't know how the how Casey's going to take all of this beating from a facaded Stalin here. Because Jellicent's not safe because of Scrappy. Togekiss is paralyzed, so you can't pull off as much. Depending on speed tiers, you couldn't pull off a para flinch. Or not para flinch, but just flinch in general. Like Serene Grace flinch shenanigans. So I don't I don't know what Casey is going to do from here. Oh my god, I did nothing! I don't know why Casey scalded there. I'm not entirely sure. I I I don't know. Maybe maybe Jellison has no other move to hit with. I don't know. I would have just gone for the burn on. Oh my god. The crit. I don't know the crit actually mattered. But that's a huge uh, as a actually it might have mattered. Actually, very much might have mattered. Casey, what Casey needs to do like this fucking turn is kill Magneton immediately. Like, honestly, you just needs to kill. Even though that Magneton probably has uh, discharge, I'm pr I don't actually I don't know if Jellison actually outspeeds it. We're gonna see here. Togas goes down. Jellison recovers, and Thunder kills Jellison. What does Kiram have? Kiram probably, it depends. If Kiram has Outrage, if this is like Choice Band Outrage, if to if Kiram hits Stoutland here, I think KSD can win. If, but Kiram has to live one hit. and needs to live like a Flash Cannon or he needs to live a uh, Superpower. It, it's Burn Superpower, so he should live a Superpower, but he can't live both hits. It's not going to happen. But Outrage is the move to click here if KSD has Outrage. You just need that damage. It will kill Magneton, and it will very like it will definitely kill Stalin after burn damage. There's no way it lives, unless it's max HP, max de max, max defense, which I don't think this Stalin is, judging by the damage it's doing. Casey's ace. Casey's final ace. His vanguard is the last line of defense. And Casey does have Outrage. Holy shit. Down to the wire. <gasps> oh no, Protect? Oh! But Casey doesn't get confused. If Man Magneton's only move here is to try to get the, the double Protect. And it fails. And Kirim, Casey's all reliable, clutches it out in an incredibly close victory. 14% health remaining. Holy fucking shit, guys.
Cave Steamsma moves on to the finals along with Bloomer. That was so close. The whole battle, Kiram had been lurking in the back, waiting for his chance to strike. And when the world needed him most, he came through. That's crazy. An absolutely fantastic match played by both competitors. Meta has been an unbelievable, like, competitor and scourge across the whole tournament. Like, destroying people left and right with his very strange but incredibly well-built team. And, and it's been an absolute joy to watch both of their matches throughout this entire tournament. And I can't wait to see a final bet between KST and Bloomer. This is going to be amazing when it happens. I look forward to commentating it for you all when it happens in the next couple weeks. Or next week, whatever the heck the competitors get together for the finals. But anyways, that's all for now. Uh, I will see you guys for the finals of the RML Draft League, and I hope to see you guys then. Later.